If you are a fan of Formula One, you might have heard commentators and pundits use the term short shifting. In this video, we will look at what is short shifting and how it works. Let's get started. In order to understand short shifting, first let's look at what normal shifting looks like. Typically, as drivers hit the peak range of a gear and cannot accelerate with that gear more, they shift to a different gear and gain more acceleration range. For a road car, the peak range of a gear typically occurs around 3000 RPM. So the general rule of thumb for road cars is to shift when you reach about 3000 RPM. Is it possible to shift gears below 3000 RPM? Of course. But experts recommend not to shift gears up below 1500 RPM. Shifting below 1500 RPM could stall the car. Short shifting aims to hit the midpoint between these two numbers. So why would a Formula 1 driver want to employ this technique? Well, there are a few reasons. Short shifting sacrifices acceleration now for a potential acceleration later. In anticipation of a maneuver like overtaking, a driver might short shift in order to ensure that he'll be able to accelerate later. For example, an F1 driver might shift a little early while going around a curve so that he doesn't have to shift in the straight and can enjoy pure acceleration. Short shifting out of the corner also helps prevent wheel spin. By intentionally reducing the torque available to the rear wheels, drivers have a greater margin for error and this provides more grip and traction. Another reason for short shifting in Formula 1 is for fuel economy. Most F1 drivers go out on aggressive fuel strategies which require a lot of fuel saving. By short shifting, drivers do not push the engine into the higher RPMs and hence use lesser fuel than usual. This same technique can be applied on road cars by regular drivers to maximize fuel economy. Now you might be wondering, does short shifting damage the car? The answer to this question is short shifting isn't bad for your car, whether it's a road car or a racing car, and shouldn't hurt anything as long as it is done correctly. Formula One cars have semi-automatic gearboxes, so the clutch does not have to be engaged when changing gears. In addition, F1 cars have an anti-stall system installed which runs at all times when the engine is on. For these reasons, it is not possible for an F1 driver to stall his car by shifting too early. Even though there is little downside to short shifting, it does take expert skill to get the benefit of short shifting. It is not an easy technique to execute during a race scenario. This is why Formula 1 drivers are paid the big bucks. Hope this video helped you learn about short shifting. Thanks for watching. Make sure to like this video and consider subscribing to the channel for more great Formula 1 content.